What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And a couple announcements before we begin. First off, I have created a Patreon page. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's just a simple way to uh, support someone on a monthly basis. I got one tier. It's $3 a month. This is the lowest as you could put, pretty much. It's just a simple way to uh, help support me and all that I do. And I call it Playbook Gamer Plus, just a bit of a cheesy name. But as of now, the way I have it set up is those who are patrons to that page can get their name in one of my dynasties. So whenever I recruit somebody, get them to commit, every offseason you'll be able to see my new commitment list and you can pick which player you want to put your name on, which is pretty cool. I have a bunch of other plans for that as well in terms of just adding more content to it, so uh, just stay tuned for that. But for any of any of you who are just willing and graciously enough to want to support me, that's like the simplest way to do it. So make sure you check that out. I have a link in the description below, and I have it uh, linked up a couple spots on the website. Second is I'm I have all of the Madden 07 offensive playbooks captured. I just need to officially upload them to WordPress. I just I technically have them uploaded. I'm having technical difficulties trying to get them uh, made public. Hopefully, I can get that resolved in the next couple of days. If so, I should have all of that ready to go, hopefully by Labor Day. And for those of you who are signed up to the newsletter on the website, will know firsthand that I have uploaded those playbooks. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully, I can get that done in the next couple of days. All right, speaking of Madden 07, we're back playing another exhibition game. Today, I'm going to be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. If I'm not mistaken, the Steelers won the Super Bowl the year prior. As you can tell here, they got more talent than we do. But in the NFL, a lot of teams are pretty similar in town. They're usually like one or two good players off from each other, it seems. So, and that, I've been fooling around with the Cardinals playbook some. So, we should have a lot of fun with this. Now, I'm still... I'm kind of waiting on something cool and special before I start a franchise. I don't want to get into that yet. But if that doesn't come around soon enough, then I may go ahead and start that franchise in a week or so. But right now, I still want to play another exhibition game or three or four until I'm ready to start that franchise. So let's get into this exhibition game here. As you can see here, uh, Pittsburgh, they're going to do their offensive defense. I am going to select the Cardinals playbook. Let's see, it should be at the very top. Defensive play, but I don't know honestly what defense we run. I didn't check that. We're going to find out here in a minute. I haven't changed anything settings-wise. I had no plan to. I really like the six-minute change we made in the last game. Six minutes seems like a good um, uh, length for me. Five seemed a little too quick. Six seemed just fright. I didn't check the weather, but it looks like we got good weather tonight. Thanks for joining us here on a great night. Like the generic sideline players. Ready to get this game started as the Cardinals match up against the Steelers. I'm guessing they got a more extensive preview show, if you will, in franchise mode compared to what we just saw here. Okay, coin toss. And we won it. We can just take the ball first. That's fine. All right, let's check out a few things. We can go to our playbook first, give you an idea of what to expect. Okay, the single back group. You got big, big twin wide receiver, twin tight end wide receiver. You got a 13 personnel set here with big three tight end. Then you got normal, then you got normal slot, then you got slot strong, you got trips bunch. This is an 11 personnel set. As you can see here, our starting tight end is number 82. And he is in the bunch set. So this is an 11 personnel group. Then you got the four wide set. And then we got I normal and uh, twin wide receiver and big. Then you got strong normal, flex. Flex, it just flexes at your tight end and the slot, which is pretty cool. And then we got weak normal and weak tight twins. Interesting. I don't, I've went through all the playbooks and I don't know if very many teams have this formation. But pretty cool nonetheless. Then you got a couple gun sets. Two uh, running back, three wide receiver. That's your gun two back slot. 
and NCAA 06 and then all the rest of the NCAA games. Normal offset week. Then you got slot strong, slot strong halfback week. And then you got gun for wide receiver. And they got a little bit of everything. I mean, uh, one thing I'm going to try to do today, and we can talk about that as we go to the depth chart. You can see what we have quarterback-wise. Now, this is before Kurt Warner really, you know, done some damage at Arizona. I think they went to the Super Bowl maybe this year, the year after it took – I think it may have took them a couple years before they got there. Forgive me, I don't know my years all that well when it comes to NFL history. I do want to look, see here who I want to start. Throwing power and accuracy. Let's just play Kurt Warner. That's fine. Halfback, Edrin James, 88 speed. What I want to do today uh, is I want to do a lot of outside runs. The previous game, I've done a lot of inside A-gap stuff with Sean Alexander and the Seahawks. I want to do a lot of pulling plays. I want to do a lot of tosses and a lot of counters. I haven't really got to do that yet, so my run game today is going to be focused on doing a lot of that. Now, I don't. it looks like I don't have the, the running backs to really do that, but that's okay. It's not like you, I mean, it helps to have some speed on, you know, at running back to run those outside stuff, but we'll make it work somehow. Uh, now, we are going up against a 3-4 defense. I just now realized this with the Steelers, so our outside runs may not work all that well today, but we'll see. All right, we got an 84 overall uh, fullback, and I'm not going to say that guy's name. 75 speed. We'll use him some today, but our best personnel group is an 11 personnel. We got two great receivers. Larry Fitzger Fitzgerald and Quan Bolden. You got Brian Johnson. But it's a big drop off after that. So we're going to try to get these three guys on the field as much as possible. Not a whole lot at tight end. I'm not going to give to the, you know, like Leonard Pope. He can catch. He's got a little speed. So even though he's just a 77 overall, he's a rookie. So that makes sense. So we're probably going to do a lot of 11 personnel today. We can look at our offensive line, 83, 77. I don't know why this guy isn't starting. We're going to put him there. Uh, awareness, let's put this guy starting. Okay, not the best offensive line. Probably one of the worst offensive lines in the league, if I had to guess. Okay, I, like I said, I don't know if we are a 3-4 or a 4-3. They're not showing the weights of these guys. 85 and 92 on the end, that's pretty good. Darnell Dockett, I remember him playing. Let's see. Looks like we got just three defensive tackles. That may tell me we run a 3-4. Yes, we are a 3-4 team. Good, because I was actually wanting to play around with a 3-4. It looks like we need to switch this up a little bit. Okay, corners, nothing special. I mean, this is one of the worst teams in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Adrian Wilson, one of the better strong safeties in the game at 96 overall. We got a good kicker, a really good punter. And we can look at the Steelers. The third down running back stuff, I'll I still gotta figure that out strategy-wise. I guess it just depends on your roster, how you want to handle that. All right, they got big Ben Roethlisberger. That's when he was at the height of his powers. He's just an 88 overall here. Let's see. 90 overall with Willie Parker, really good fullback. Heinz Ward, this was towards the end of his career, if I'm not mistaken. Looking here, Heath Miller, played at Virginia. 89, 98, really good. Oh, Alan Fineca, let's see, really good offensive line. Yeah, not bad at all. Now, like I said, they run a 3-4 as well. They've been running a 3-4 for many, many years. One really good defense tackle, Casey Hampton, maybe the best in the game. Just looking here, the linebackers look really good. They got two guys in the upper 90s. Corners, they got a decent little corner group. Nobody great, but nobody hardly bad either. 81, and Troy Palomalu, one of the best strong safeties we've seen in many years. Not much a kicker, not much a punter. Okay, that's all they're released to see, so let's get right into it. So the battle of the 3-4 defenses, I guess. I want to go up the middle. From the two -yard line. Like the idea of trying to make that work if possible. Okay. We can start like, you know, our 11 personnel set is our best group. 
Let's see. We got sprint, draw, slam. Looking here. Let's do this counter trap. Most of your tosses and counters are in the bigger sets. That's a interesting setup there. They are going. Oops, and that was my bad. <laughs> I goofed up big time on that one, to say the least. Let's try a toss play. I know we're already behind the chains. I probably should be throwing, but that's okay. And let's see. Ah, this may be tough. We'll still go this way, though. That's just great defense. It may be tough to go to the outside on this 3-4. I may have to go up the gut. Okay, that's not how you want to start. Let's go to an 11 personnel set, and let's do a dig wheel. They are going man. I'm going to do a smart route with Bolden. Hopefully we can get the first down since they are going man. Nice, first down. Good play. Love that smart route, or the where you get him to the first down. Of course, you can do that in other games as well. We can stay here, and they got, this is interesting. They got a halfback sweep, but it goes up the A gap. That never made sense to me. Let's do wide receiver drag. That looks interesting. Just a levels concept on the right. We're going man. Probably go to somebody on the left. Oh, I threw that maybe a little too early. That comeback route's a great man beater. Let's try a bunch and let's do a quick pitch. A little toss play. Everybody and their brothers on that side, which is expected, I guess. If we can get a decent block or two. Not a bad run. Got a, about four yards out of it. So what is it, third and six? Let's go here and, and let's try a curl flat. This is an option route. I'm, I haven't fooled around with the option routes much yet, but they are going man. I'm going to see if I can get to one of the curls. There we go. Just get up to first with Bolden. Okay. Let's try. See, here's a B gap counter. That's interesting. Most counters are C gaps and D's, but since we're going up against a 3 4, we can try this instead. Let's go this way. It's not a whole lot there, just good defense. We can try. There's a max protect. Uh, let's do a PA boot counter. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you can really let the computer handle your rollouts and stuff. They do a perfect job of it. And I got sacked. Couldn't get off the time. That's good defense. What I was talking about there, and I couldn't hit the L1 and R1 fast enough, is when you snap the ball, do not press anything after that. You can let the AI handle your... I actually took him over right there. If you, if I'd have let him by do his thing, he would have kept on rolling out. Oh, he was open right there underneath. Either way, I was going to get sacked regardless. But it's pretty cool. Like your any pass play, your dropbacks, all that good stuff. You can let the computer handle that. The the perfect three step, five step. I mean, you'll you can't do a better job than what they can. So, all right, they're going man. We'll do a, get him down to the first down, Fitzgerald. This will go to one of the outside guys for sure. Almost intercepted. All right, we'll punt it. We are on the 46. Yes, we'll punt it. But it's pretty cool. Like, I don't have to move the joystick in order for him to make the perfect draw. Now, once he settles, you may want to control it, you know, because you got to avoid sacks and such. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. All right. Now they're going with three. No, we're a 4-3 team. For some reason, I thought we were. Okay, never mind. We're 4-3. That's fine. I'm a 4-3 guy anyways. My next exhibition game, I'll take over a 
or a 3-4 team. Pick about six yards there. Going too wide here. Uh, and I'm not used to, like, here's a, I don't want to do a linebacker contain. Let's just go with another one high, I guess. I went with the spy. That probably didn't make a lot of sense. Didn't need to do that. Halfback draw. Snaz third and three. Go with an over. Let's do just a basic cover three. I'm going to take a guess that they will pass. Ah, right, get up. Eh, yeah, first down. Okay, let's stick with this over and try another cover one. They're determined to run it right now. Another draw. That's a quick draw. I need to start using those. I wish I could do this. I just don't like the quarters in this game. They didn't do it well. They didn't set up like it's supposed to be ran, but I may be able to make it work. I got to control a linebacker, though. The linebackers are the problem. Little counter. Get him. I think he got the first. Third and inches. Do I have a 4 6? I do not. Let's do an over. Let's do linebacker dogs. Let's send everybody. Let's see what happens. Arizona puts its secondary in better position to make a play on any kind of a run. The Cardinals line up in a 4 3. Looking upfield. Oh, no. Big play. I took a chance. I wanted to bring the heat. Didn't work. Let's do a cover two. They're moving right down the field on us. We're doing under front. Another draw. They're loving their draws. Let's go back here and I'll do another cover one. We'll send a little pressure this time. Arizona comes out in a four three. The defense changing its coverage. Do a little shifting ourselves. That's a good play. Pick up the first. Man beater. Here. We'll do another one high. I done a spy. I didn't mean to do that. I wonder if I can change his. There we go. And I completely goofed that up. We yeah, we lucked out. Uh oh. Get him. Very fortunate. I didn't do my shifts quick enough. Let's do another two man under, then we'll do a zone on third down. I think he got hit when he threw it. I wasn't paying attention. I was too focused on what I was doing. We don't have the we don't have the corners to run any nickel. So we're going to stick with 4-3 pretty much the entire game. Unless they go four wide and we feel like we need the speed out there. But Ooh, almost intercepted. Now he'll probably be able to kick a field goal here. Are they punting? It doesn't say what they're going to do. So they're punting. Maybe he's too far out. I don't know what yard he's on. I can't tell the 20, 30. That's a, that should be a field goal. They got a decent punter don't, or a kicker, don't they? Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Ooh. All right, let's get the ball back. Try to do something. Let's go here. Let's try a sweep from the one of the gun sets. I may have to do a bunch of A-gap stuff. I was wanting to do some outside. That's a good hit. 
four wide. I don't have the bodies for that. It's too slot strong again. Let's try. Let's do a, oh, man of the quarter, I guess. That was a quick quarter. Both teams have kept it in between the lines today, I guess. I saw a wide receiver screen. I haven't done a whole lot of screens. Where's that? There we go. Let's try this screen. Now, they're going man. I don't know if the screens work well against man or not. We're about to find out. Nope, not even close. That's what I figured. So it's third and long again. We can try this dig wheel. I like your deep dig and post. We're going zone. This should be interesting. I don't know. That's a bad play. And I had I saw nobody open. All right, we'll punt it. May have to start doing something shorter. So what we're probably going to do is on when we get back on offense is do some more A-gap stuff just because we're going up against a 3-4 and do maybe some shorter passes, kind of get that going. And then we'll work from there, I guess. Because right now offensively we're struggling. Little we'll fullback dive. Let's try. Let's do a basic cover two. I'll treat it like a Tampa two. Let's do an over front here. Get him. <laughs> he was wide open. He threw it way too late. Well, we'll stay here and let's do this. Mm, nah. Let's do this hog three. Hog buck three. I'll try to get some pressure from a lineman. All day to throw. Uh-oh, big play. Big, big play. We can go back and look at that. I was hoping they'd go straight to an instant replay, and they didn't. Was he open, or did he just throw it bad? I can't tell. Oh, he was wide open. He threw it too light, I guess. Just a great play by our corner or safety, whoever that is. So we could try play action off of that. Let's uh, do strong. I'm sure we got a play action here. Let's do this PA rollout. They're going man. Uh, now they're going, I think, a little zone. Wide open. Let's go give it to him. There may be somebody else open under over the top. I couldn't tell. Let's do this flex. Let's do an A-gap run, a dive week. Uh, try this. Nothing there. They plugged up every gap with ease on that one. Uh, we can try. Let's do a counter. We're going zone. We'll go this way. Ah. He had him right there. I thought I was going to have an easy first down, but my tight end just couldn't hold the block. So we'll attempt a field goal. Hopefully I can make this. I got decent kickers. Go here. Try to not. Not too bad. All right. Well, we're on the scoreboard at least. I don't know how many yards that was. They're going right. Well, I thought he was going to go right. All right, back to defense we go. Oh, 
where are we? We are, let's do a normal, let's go back to another one high. They'll so take over first at the 22 10. yard line. First and 10. Very well may be a low scoring game today. Neither offense can do a whole lot. Oh, what a play. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. It's a good play. There's nobody over there. I guess that was my fault for not being over there. Probably cover one is not my best suit. And I need to be doing what I do with no six. If I really expect him to run the ball, then go cover one. You know, bring the eighth guy in the box and such. But they are been pretty balanced so far. You know, they're going one wide receiver here. So we're going to take a chance and assume they're going to run. A little toss play. Good open field tackle. Let's just stay in normal. So this outside linebacker fire three. Oh, back up. Get him. Good deal. All right, now it's third and whatever. Third and nine. We'll, we'll go nickel. We'll do another cover three. I snap. I keep hitting the floor or hitting the ground. Just a bad play there. Where are we? We're on the 45. Let's go PR right. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll punt over in that direction. That looked weird. Let's we'll just fair catch that one. Get that one. Oh, got a good punt. Good bounce. All right, let's go four wide receiver, and let's go up to guts if we can and get something going. Our, I think our run game is not going to do much of anything today, but we're going to try. Let's see. I'm going to go A-gap, so I want to go. Let's go here. It's a good choice. There we go. I've, I've done that because I was assuming their nose guard or nose tackle was going to be on the center, leaving the left guard open. And I was assuming the defensive end at number 71 on the right was going to be on the right guard, which I predicted correctly. So I went to the left, opened it up a little bit. That's what I like to do for the A-gap runs. Okay. Got an off tackle. Let's try a toss again. I really want to make... The toss work today, but this 3-4 may not let me. Plus, the Steelers' defense is just really good. <laughs> Let's just try this way. Get block. Oh, what a block. Jeez. Gosh, what a block that was. Great blocking all around. This toss play is really nice. Look at this. Burn! Knocked him on his butt. Good stiff arm there. Then I took a little tumble. Let's stay here and see what we have. We got a curl flat with a swing. I don't know if that. We can try it. If they go zone, we may have a chance. Ooh, and they're going zone. So let's see if we can make this work. Under center, halfback screen. I don't know if we got enough time to do this, but we'll try it. Nope. <laughs> that's, that's what I figured. Now I know. Second and forever. And that's what I get for calling that. Let's do a PA rollout. We're going... Man? Maybe going over the top here. May get intercepted. I was trying to one-hand catch it. I about got sacked. We'll go back to our good third down play. I really like it. Let's dig wheel again. Might as well. They're, they are going, we're going to do Vance. Ah, oh, good catch by Fitzgerald. Now it's the two-minute warning, so we probably need to get down the field and start doing some things. So we can stay in the gun here. We're already at midfield or close to it. Let's see what else we have here. Let's do these posts. I don't know. See, they're going, man, does, it, does this post work well? Now he's getting double teamed. Let's see if we can give this to Fitzgerald or something. Mm, oh, dang it. I should have known. 
Just a bad throw here. They went one high, and I went to the safety on that side. That was one high. I threw that too late as well. That was my bad. At least the post can beat his man. Biggest reason I was hesitant to call on this play because I didn't see a whole lot of good man beaters. The post are good, but that guy over here is double teamed. So they called pretty much the perfect play on this. So what I should have done was went to that slot receiver. Yeah, I should have went to this guy up here. And my halfback was open as well. That's just my fault. That's just whatever. Okay. Uh, let's go back. They are... They got a lot of nickel stuff. Interesting. Still a two-man under. Slight change in the defensive alignment. Roethlisberger sends a man in motion. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. Ooh. Neither quarterback's putting on a show right now. Let's do a cover three. Like I said before, every time I control a defensive lineman and I try to do a spin move on somebody, I, I, I fall to the ground every time. See, there we go again. It just, I, I feel useless when I do that. Maybe I'm doing it too quickly. We could try that again. Yeah, I stayed on the ground this time. Let's call a timeout. That's fourth and 19. They are on the 45. So, low scoring affair. Neither offense can do much of nothing. Full on defensive battle for sure. Looks like it's going to be a tight one, regardless. Just enough. So a minute and a half. I my def or my offense hasn't done much of anything today. I don't know if we can get anything going. Let's try this deep in. We can try at least. Oh, it's like we're going man. Warner the defense from the gun. Going to the air on first down. Go to dig route, pick up the first. It's a little play there. Let's try another levels. Oh, let's do this cruel drag. That looks interesting. We're going man again. I don't know. We'll do slide protection on this one. Ooh, he's open. No, 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 no. I threw that way too late, and that's just all kinds of bad. Uh, let's stay here. Uh, no, let's go. Then he reads the pass, he Let's do it from move. under center. Yeah, see if we can get any. Like they got a lot of levels concepts in here, which I like. A slot drag. Let's just try slot drag. We got two post routes again. This time we're going zone. So this should be interesting. We'll do slide protection. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that should have been picked. Just a terrible throw. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, we'll go back to our dig wheel. I feel comfortable with it for right now. We're going man at least. I can probably... Oh, crap. Nope. I right, dang it. That was my bad. Well, I think they was going zone there. We can go back and look. I thought they was going man. Maybe they had, it was like a mix. Yeah, they were going man. They just have like a spy over the middle, so that's actually a good call. So it looks like they adjust to my play calling. On third down, they know I'm calling this play, and look at this middle of the field type stuff. They know I like going over the middle of the field, and I should have gave it to this guy back here. Either way, I think they kind of adjust to your play calling. That looks, that's pretty cool. I could be dead wrong. They may have just looked out and guessed and picked the right play there. But either way, I'll give them some credit for it. Watch out. It's a punt and a half. All right, they still got time to do something. 45 seconds. That's not true quarters. I don't know why they... Let's do a cover two. The Steelers will start the drive at the 26-yard line. First and ten. The Cardinals come out in a nickel pack. The defense is shifting. Pass play here on first down. Just don't know what happened there. That's weird. Did he get hit? I don't think he got hit. I don't know. It's, hmm. 
Ok. Uh, let's go back to cover 3. Survive this last 42 seconds. Get him. Oh, so close. There's nobody was open, I guess. I don't know. Good push, but the defensive line forced the incomplete pass. He hung in there. He didn't really have the time that he needed. Quarter safe. That kind of looks, if you notice the underneath guys, they are more spread out. That looks, no, they're backed up. I have no choice but the control like this guy right here. Ooh, wide open. That's good throw. Uh-oh, so now they are... They call the time out. Interesting, look at that quarter half. That looks like a cover six, but like a man version of that. Interesting, let's call that. Now, we may have somebody open. No, everybody seems to be covered. Oh, wasn't expecting that. That's an interesting call. Nine Velcro. Just back to cover three, I guess. See if we can get some pressure on this cat. Nope. Just a bad throw there. Hmm. Okay. They got a lot of nickel stuff. That's interesting. See, if you want to run a nickel defense, run, use their playbook. They got like four different nickel variations. I'll go right over the center. Get it. Okay. Another bad throw. That's good coverage. It's good defense, I guess. Let's do middle. We probably won't be returning this anyways. We'll probably fair catch it, but still. We'll take a knee and just go to half. Oh, I had a good. Oh, I thought I had a good bounce. Okay. All right, let's just take a knee. And go to halftime. We're up 3-0. to zero. Far cry from the last few games we've had. Last couple games I've been able to put up in the 20s and 30s. Not today, unless something crazy happens. I mean, I need to try some draws. Yeah, let's try a draw right here. No reason not to. Nope, nothing there. Penalty. Holding. <laughs> We're going to decline it and go to half. All right. We can look at stance, but there's nothing to look at. Neither team could do much of anything, so we'll just get right to the third quarter. We can look at the stats at the end of the game. Well, there's some up right there. Typical low-scoring NFL game. Whoever gets the 10 points may win. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's do a two-man under. That's an interesting adjustment they've done there. They switch position. They switch roles. Defender responsibilities. Oh, I'm glad he got that one there. If I hadn't got to him, he would have been gone. We'll run a... I hate when... I just don't like the way they do that. Okay, that's a, bit, a little more spread out. Good play there. So what is it, third and four? Let's do a one high. And see how they handle it. I love how that safety truly comes down. Somebody came through. Let's see what happened here. 
interesting play call. Well, I mean, if we just had somebody come right on through. Hmm. All right, let's get the ball back. Somebody get a block on that, it ain't going to happen. From the 22 yard line. I probably should have fair caught that. <laughs> that was very close. Okay, nothing worked in the previous half. Uh, let's try this stretch play. This is old school Peyton Manning Colts type stuff. Looks like they brought some of that with them when James came to Arizona. He's coming down. We're going to go. We're going zone. That's just good defense. Barely two yards out of that. Let's do a P rollout. We got a righty quarterback, so let's just go to the right. Looks like we're going zone. Probably got somebody on the left. There was nobody open. I couldn't tell if anybody was open. We can go back and look at this. They went with a cover three. He was open right there. Dang it, that's just my fault. How did I miss him? And he was the tight end. Okay. Oh, well. That's a big old head coach, whoever that was, on the sideline. That looked weird. Just pick. Oh, what do we have here? Quick ends. Flanker go. Let's do this wide receiver curl. That looks interesting. Third and down eight. and a long. Let's not go going, man. Eh, it's just fixing to get sacked. I had no time to do anything. I probably should have done some. I probably should have done some slide protection. But they brought everybody, and James couldn't get him. I don't know if anybody was open either. I had no time to throw, so I don't think it made a difference. All right, back to defense we go. That's the one thing with uh, Madden 07. It's going to be really interesting when I start a franchise. There's just going to be a lot of close games. This is what, my sixth or fifth or sixth exhibition game posted on the channel. And every game has been within like a touchdown of each other, except the previous game, that one with Seattle. I was able to pull out, you know, with a, what, 17-point victory. But the rest of them have been, what, seven points or less? So every game looks like it's going to be pretty exciting in terms of at least getting down to the finish. The Cardinals with a four -man front. Draw. Get him, get him. Comes up to make the play. So you're not going to see a whole lot of blowouts. Let's put it that way. And the running back's hurt. Let's just stay here. It's fine. Let's do the safety snake three stay. We'll it's sick of five. They may just run play. it, though. Here we go. Slight change in the it Don't run to the right. Well, yeah, you can if you want. Draw again. Their draw plays are working. Mm. They like using them. That's their main play, for sure. Ooh, a thunder smoke. This may be a bad idea. I thought that was a basic cover one. Not even close. Everybody and their brothers blitzing, so somebody is coming through. Right, good play. So now it's what? Second and 14. Do an under front this time. Let's do basic cover three. I'll control the short field. To the left. Nothing there. Third and long. We'll do another cover three from here. Carlos Dansby. If I'm not mistaken, he played at Auburn. Get him. Almost got the sack. All right. Back to offense we go. Let's do a punt return left. Maybe we'll look at and he'll punt over on the far right. Nope, punt in the other direction. We'll fair catch it. Fair catch made at the 
Okay, nothing is working, so let's try. We go. Uh, let's do some. Let's do a counter trap. That flat pressure looks like a good little play. We're going man. Let's bring him over. That's as good. Oh, jeez. God, what a hit. I didn't mean to cut that far in. Look at this hit. This is nasty. Look at this. Boom! Mm. They know how to cut off the lanes in this game, that's for sure. Uh, let's just stay here. Let's try that flat pressure. They are going... Can't really tell. Mm. Just get something. I thought it looked like they were kind of going zone. When in doubt, they're probably going zone. Against man, the corners are always up. I mean, it's practically a bump and run on the receivers. So we're going to do a levels concept here. We've called this play before. They're definitely going man here. I probably need, let's just go over here first down. Fumble. Ooh, get out of bounds. Good little play there. I would probably do well if I just kept passing and just sprinkle in some other things. We can try some of that. Let's do this normal flex. Let's do this PE rollout. This looks interesting. I only got one guy to roll out with just about, though. So this may not be the best play in the world, but we'll try it. Yeah, we'll give it to our fullback. Oh, that's nice. A little delayed route. That's pretty cool. That is basically Spider 2 I Banana. If you see here, Spider 2 I Banana, you got a, a flag route on, one, on the, the play action side and then an underneath route. And our tight end flexed out, run the flag corner route. Then you got the fullback running underneath. So that's Spider 2 I Banana, but from that set. Interesting little play call. I like that. Okay, let's stay in flex and. I'm going to try this dive week again. Maybe we can find something underneath. It's been a bit of a challenge so far. Uh, we're going to go left. I wonder if I can get my fullback. Just... Nope. Wow, that's just great defense. <laughs> Came through like it was nothing. Let's go. Let's go bunch. Let's do a pass play here. Let's do tight end flat. They're going zone. We'll just read probably what's over here. Got some yards out of it. Pretty much a triangle concept. Kind of, sort of, not really. I bet they got like this curl flats a little better of a triangle concept. A little easier to read. Doing that. I just couldn't get over the line. Dang it, I was hoping he cut up field and he didn't. That's where we're on, R46. Let's punt it. I'm going to go back and look at that play. I'm just curious to see if anybody was open or not. They went in zone. And he's the only one I saw that was open. Ooh, that curl was, ah, man, that curl was kind of open. Dang it. I need to practice that play. I like that. Is ready to pump this one away. Oh, into return. We'll just go right up the middle here. That's fine. And they're going to fair catch anyways. For the fair catch. Oh, thought I could get to it in time. Touchback. All right. Back to the grind we go. Once you go, uh, let's do a safety blitz. First first and ten. Ten. Another one high. I'm predicting they will run it. Parker's back. Looks like it wasn't too serious of an injury. I guess he couldn't find anybody open. Let's do a cover two zone. All right, the quarter's about over with. Let's do an over front. Play to the 
Good pursuit there. So now it's, what, third and long again. We'll just do basic cover three. I'd... Neither team is doing well on third down. Get around. Just nowhere close. He done the same thing I done on my third down. <laughs> Didn't get close to the first down. We're going. We're going to try PR right this time. Maybe we'll look out. He'll punt over that side. You got to remember Ben Roethlisberger is just like an 88 in this game, which you know 88 you think would be pretty good. Uh, but in the NFL. Lingo, that's pretty much like a 78. Okay. Um, I would love to do that wide receiver. That PA trap looks interesting. Let's do a toss, I guess. Nothing's really working, so I'm just kind of grab bagging it. We're going zone. Straight up to the line. See if we can get something going. Ah, look at this good defense. Wow, just nothing there. And I probably won't be able to do any outside runs on this team. Do slot. Let's do a curl flat with an option. The only thing with these option grants, you just don't know what they're going to do here. No, I threw that way too light, and he caught that somehow. <laughs> we'll take it. You just don't know which wrath he's going to go with. That's why I don't like him. If you knew exactly, we can pause. Like, I think this particular play... He is running either a curl, an out, or a flag route. I hope, I don't know how they decide. Maybe it's the receiver's awareness. But if he sees like a one high safety, maybe he's thinking flag. That's probably what he'd done there. If that safety would have come down, maybe he would have went with the go route. If it was cover two or something, he probably could have went back with a curl. Maybe. I hope that's how it's designed in this game. If it is, I may fool around with some option routes some more. I still think it depends on the player itself and his awareness. I could be dead wrong, though. Somebody may be able to fill me in on that. We're out there going man here. I wonder if we're going to go over the top. One high. Oh, you tried another <laughs> one-handed catch. I feel like I need to throw. I just, let's try to draw. Maybe we can... Fake him out a little bit. Of course, they're doing with a tie three four. Uh, that just nothing there. Back to third and long we go. Is there anything that's like? Let's try this wide receiver curl again. I don't know. I'm not seeing a whole lot of zone beaters here, but they're going man, so it doesn't matter. So I may this will go to one of the outside guys. As long as I have the time to do it. Ah, he didn't get past the line of scrimmage in the, or at best the first down marker. So we're on the 43, it's fourth and two. I want to go for it. I'm going to try. We'll do a levels concept. That's usually good against manor zone. Let's see if we can... Oh, he's wide. Oh, he caught it. Wow. That was a weird play. We'll break all this down. I don't know what defense they was running. I think it was like an all-out blitz with a back-end safety something. No, they was going man. I didn't see anybody open. As you can tell here, there's nobody open. Then I saw that tight end get wide open right there. And I just chucked it. That's all I've done right there. So, big play. Play of the game so far right there. So, let's go back here. Let's do another counter play. We're going man? Eh, I may just leave him over there. Fitzgerald's one of the better wide receiver blockers in the league. Has been for years. Uh, let's do a fullback dive strong. Maybe that'll fake him out a little bit. Are they going to go goal line? I didn't think about that. I may call a timeout. Let's just call a timeout. I didn't think they was going to go goal line. Got no one on my mind. Let's do big. Let's do a toss. 
for a touchdown. Crunching up, they're doing, I think they're going zone, to be honest. Yeah, they're, let's do that. I should have kept him over there on the far side. I didn't put him over there all the way to the far end. I was hoping he would get a block right there, and he that's my bad. So now you know it helps to put your wide receiver in front of the cornerback. Otherwise, that's going to happen. Okay, so it is, what, third and nine? Is there anything here that we can get him on a third? Uh, let's do this. What? Yeah, levels with the backside man beaters. It's like a going zone. Eh, I forgot to do this. It's eh, come on. There we go. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Get the catch. Oh, six points! Big play right there. Awesome. Went with a little shallow route to you know who. And a big wide receiver can knock guys over like that. That's awesome. Oh, don't mess up on me. Ooh, I thought it messed up on me there. The screen did. We can go look at the replay here. They're going zone. Yes, they're going zone from what I can tell. And they were blitzing hard that way, weren't they? My main zone beater is the shallow route or the dig, depending on the the linebacker over the middle. And that linebacker decided to go after the dig route. So I'm going towards the shallow. This was Peyton Manning's favorite concept, levels. That's all that is right there. And it, levels is all over this game. I mean... It's probably in at least, I don't know, I probably have it a dozen times in this playbook alone. But I love levels. I like to use, for this game at least, I like to use the levels concept as my zone read and whatever the backside is as my man beaters. So in that particular play, we had a, a deep curl or it was a comeback route and a go route. Perfect man beaters. But levels is great for zones. So it's like a split field coverage read. One side's your zone reads, the other's man. And I think I may set up my passing attack that way when I start the franchise. I just like, that's the way I kind of visualize it in this game when I call a lot of pass plays. I like to have a lot of two-by-two two sets, mostly. And I got one side for man beaters, the other side for zone. Just seems easier that way. I just need to practice a lot more concepts. There's a bunch more that I can work on. That's what I'm really liking about this game. They just got a lot of cool playbooks, really good concepts. I really like what I'm seeing. Get him. That's a bad play. Oh, wow, he should have caught that. Should have been a first down. All right, third and seven. Let's just do another cover three. It's fine. Ben Roethlisberger doesn't like my cover three. He's not doing very well with it. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Ah, I went the other way. Dang it. Right Should have been picked. Ooh, All right. Let's get the ball back. Okay, now we got to start thinking about running clock and stuff. It's an exhibition game, so I'm not too worried. But Well, we picked the right one. Let's see if we can get a good run here. Not bad. Okay. Here's a power play. I wonder if that's a toss or just a handoff. I'm guessing it's just a handoff. We can try it. We're by their brothers on that side. Uh, guess we'll go left. That's a toss play. So now I know power is a toss. At least that one is. I need to think, remember that. Let's try this off tackle week, even though it goes up to B gap. <laughs> that makes no sense, but that's the way it's designed. You can see it go up. To, that, that, well, they kind of have it over the tackle. I'm going, man. I may have to cut this in. Might as well run clock while we're here. We'll figure out what to do on third down if needed. Let's just go ahead and snap it. That's just good defense. 
best safety in the league practically. Third and two. Let's try a toss. I don't like the look. I may just let this go to the two-minute warning. I think I may have a chance. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. They're going zone. I may bring this him over. Let's let's experiment here. Let's just go here. Nope. Oh, I thought I had a chance to go up underneath. All right. Two-minute warning. I have no faith in the Steelers doing anything. I just their offense has been atrocious all day. Our defense has played pretty well. I kind of noticed that Pittsburgh doesn't have a whole lot of offensive firepower in general. Let's. So maybe that's the reason why they're just struggling offensively. I think I punt that away too high, but that's okay. Uh, let's go another cover three, I guess. They'll take over at the 17 yard line. First and 10. Let's do an under front. I'm fully expecting them to, to throw. Uh-oh. Big play. All right. Uh, let's go. I'm just going to leave everything as is. I got a base play that I don't mind using. Oh, there he goes. Somebody get him. Picks up a solid six yards. Oh, did he get hurt? <laughs> he injured his chest. <laughs> that stinks. I don't even know who the backup is. Is it? Uh, we're fixing to find out. Let's do a two man under. Batch? I don't remember him. That should be a good defensive play there. Time is working again. Flag grab against a cover two man is not going to work. Third and three. Eh, let's do a. We'll stick with cover three. I guess they only need three yards. He's coming back. At least they gave an injury report. So I guess they didn't do that for Parker earlier. Oh, wow. Well, he just destroyed me there. Oh, he got him beat. Oh, what an interception by Macklin. Wow, what a play. So now... Let's do a belly strong. That looks like a counter to me. If that's a counter, I need to mark that down as well. Um, definitely going man. That is a counter, basically. They just call it belly strong. Okay. That's food for thought. I, uh, second and nine. They got how many timeouts? Two left. Let's try another counter. I probably need to get a faster running back to run these outside stuff. They had so many of them in this playbook, yet James has only got like 88 speed. Unless you get good blocking. Not a bad play right there. You get about four yards. Called another timeout. They got one left. Let's do an A gap right up the gut against a 3 4. I've went outside so many times, you would think they're ready to. Uh, oh! Didn't get it. We'll punt it. Thought I had a chance to get the first. Four sacks, six tackles, player of the game, a defensive player. Makes sense in a 10 to nothing game. Oh, get him. Well, how, many, how much time is left? 48 seconds. The game, I would think, is over, but I, you never know. Anything's possible. I don't feel like I'm very effective as a defensive lineman yet, so we'll be a linebacker for now. I can't see what's over there. Overthrew it. 
They're throwing a lot of flag routes. They're throwing two a lot of flag routes, I should say. It didn't help. I don't like my linebackers bunched up as they are. Oh, there he goes. Let's go a little play, pick up the first, but I think it's too little too late. I had a split play there. Pick up the first. We'll just stay in our in our play. No reason to change it. Spike the ball. They may not have a lot of gun formations. For some reason, I thought they had quite a few. Maybe I'm wrong. The backs are lined up in the eye. Miller moves in motion. Hey, watch the screen. On the chain. chain. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. It's good play. Oh, he dropped it. It's good defense. Hit him when he tried to catch it. Everybody looks gassed. We'll do another cover two zone. couple more plays and this game will be over with and we can check out some stats toward the end. Not going to be a whole lot to see. Oh, they're going with the Hail Mary. I did not expect him to do that. Oh, it was a good hit too. I, I just wasn't thinking of Hail Mary on that. So we'll, what we'll do here, we'll go nickel. And we'll go with a cover two man if I can find it. We'll do a hat on a hat. Make sure everybody's kind of backed up. Ah, oh, couldn't get to him in time. Now, if they make a touchdown here, no, they're not going to. All right, good deal. All right, game over, 10 to nothing. They would have scored right there and had an onside kick, but four seconds, that wouldn't have been enough time to do all that. So, we'll take a knee, and we'll get out of here. They call another timeout. No, they didn't. All right. We can check out some stats. Again, there's not going to be a whole lot to see. Neither team got to do much of anything, but we've done just enough to get the win. That's pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've had a 10, you know, a 10 to nothing game. So used to putting up some decent points in the NCAA. And, it, and Madden, you're not going to see a whole lot of high scoring games for me until, unless I really get in the groove and know my playbook and such, whichever one I pick and got talent to work with. Then you may see some games in the 30s. If I have a really good game, maybe a 40-pointer, but I don't think it's going to be very common. All right, let's go to stats. As you can tell, neither team done anything offensively. Passing, we've done okay, but not, you know, nothing special. Interceptions, that was the key of the game today. I threw a bad one. He threw a couple bad ones. Let's look in here. Third down, neither team done much of nothing. Just offensively, it's just a bad day all around. Great day for the defense, though. Let's go to individual. Kurt Warner, 15 to 26. Somehow I have 57% out of all that, which shocked me. Rushing, not much of nothing. 1.9 average for Adrian James. The Steelers' defense is legit. Receiving, Fitzgerald and Baldwin, or Baldwin, and Bolden. Got the bulk of all that, which that was by design. Pope had the play of the game, that big deep ball to him against the safety. Uh, I want to go here. Let's look at the passing. Let's see. Man, Roethlisberger played terrible. I don't know what the deal was there, but he just did not play good at all. They didn't run the ball that well either. 2.3 average for their main guy. Receiving, they didn't get to do much of anything either. I think it's pretty interesting. They got a scoring thing. That is what that is. That's just your drive summary. Well, here's a drive summary. So that's, I don't know what all that, maybe this is the previous drive. So that's interesting. You can go back and look at your current drive and see what happens. Interesting. I don't know if I'd ever use that, but it's cool that they have it in here. 
You got a passing log. This is really neat. I'd have to really think hard if I would use this or not. But it's got like on all downs, you know, I got the deep end, the, the streak, and the release. I don't know. That's just kind of... I don't know what to think about all that, to be honest. It's pretty cool that it's there. It's, you know, I wonder... I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. It's pretty neat regardless. Then you got a rushing log. Up the middle, right side, up the middle. That's on single back. Like, if you go to first down, single back, that's 53% of the time we went up the middle. I guess that... I don't know. Either way, that's pretty cool stuff that they would throw all that in there. Okay, that is it in the next video, which will hopefully be like maybe Labor Day, hopefully. I'll go back to NCAA football, go back to Mississippi State. We're about to close out that season, getting ready to hopefully maybe win a national championship, all that good stuff. And I'm hoping in the next day or so, we'll try to upload the playbooks for this game. I really need to look at that information anyway. because I got some cool projects in store, especially for the Patreon page. Again, make sure you check out the Patreon page if that interests you at all. Thank you for any of you who may support me down the road. And I'll talk to you guys later.